We're at the Pirelli. Uh, what's your prediction for today? What do you reckon? I'm going for 3 1 Blues. I think uh, I think Lord Dar will score for them. We'll score first. And we'll uh, eat close in the first half. And then we'll get two on the cut. We'll score. And we'll get one in the 90th minute. Lloyd Dyer, 1 0. There's your prediction. And a Callum Horn to fall over at the end. He always does it. Why the negativity, mate? No, do you know what? Alright, you want a serious prediction? I'm going to go with 1 1 then. Okay, that's fair. I'll go 1 1, but Lloyd Dyer will score. I'm not holding back. We are lucky not for a little bit. If we had Che, a bit easier. Like I think Roberts will score from like a corner or something. Rob oh, yeah. That's oh, a good shout. <laughs> and Lloyd Dyer will score from like one of his stupid <laughs> runs. Yeah. Rounds falls over. Fair right. play. What do you think, Kim? 2 1. I'm going with score first. Carl, heard you're not happy with the liner. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're playing Donaldson and Djokovic with no wingers. They're two trolls who can head the ball. If we play two up front, we need Vassal and one of those two because they can flick it onto them.
What did we get out first off? Huh? Well, it's looking alright. I think there's still a missing piece of the jigsaw. But other than that, we're, we're doing okay. Just need one more goal to see it up and then it's alright. Do you feel like you've changed your mind with McGoma now? No, it's fine not to begin with. Oh, fair play. JJ, what do you think? He scored a goal, mate. But you know what? He doesn't have my respect. He cuts his damn hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I love his hair. And he scored well, two in three. Is there anything else you want to say? I, do, I heard you were a chatty man. Who the fucking hell are you? Right, but the wrong 
why round? I don't know, we need to make signings quickly. We want to address this as well, but we're not signing them. And the second we need, and then we're all right. It's going to be a big 13 days for that piece of games. At least five or six players. I don't know how many times we have to lose to Burton. See you later. I'm very positive in the second half is myself. He was the only, only striker who went for a challenge as well. For so long, he, he wanted it. He wanted the ball. The dusk causes got the ball w w winning corners. Yeah, yeah, we, sh we saw that in uh, against Bolton as well. Yeah, exactly. You can see, like, he looks bright, he's fast, he's good in the air as well. He's yeah, he's alright, he's a good all round uh, little, so, little player. <sighs> wow, so um, I just got back from the game and I'm not, I'm really, I'm still, I'm still fuming. I'm still fuming at that, that performance. How many times do we have to play Burton before we can beat them? I don't, I honestly don't know, like, I'm, I try and be positive before every game, and then this happens, it's, and it's, and it's just typical blues, it's always the same, typical blues, what we do, we get expectations, they're up here, and I'm an optimistic person as well, so I'm up, my, maybe I set my expectations too high, and I know the transfer window ain't short, but we really, even with the team we've got at the minute, we need to be beating, we need to be beating Burton. They made us look like absolute mugs today. I'm, I'm absolutely fuming and most of, most of the fans were, Harry was, I watched Harry's interview, he's not a happy man, he wants to get players in and we have to. What happens when we play a Premier League side on Tuesday? I hope they rest a lot of players because they could really punish us. We need to really sort this team out. All I'm going to say is the one positive to come out of this game is Isaac Vassell. Now, I wasn't sure when we bought him how good he was going to be, how long it would take for him to make the step up. But he looks ready. He looks ready to play. He causes problems for defenders. And we need him. We need him in the squad. We need him starting the next game, I think. We just, today... We had no impact at all. Like, I couldn't see a lot of the first half because it was down the other end. Um, we, we were kind of behind Stockdale the first half. We seem to have no creativeness in the midfield. Like, I don't know. We've got, we have got two big lads up front, right? We're just hoofing the ball to them and it's, and it's not really working. Like, we need someone that can play a pass. We get for selling, get for sell starting, get someone that can play a pass into him. Just sign some players, man. I don't know who's in charge of signing the players. I think the board are giving investment to Harry. I think Harry's given the name. Maybe it's Vatia, maybe it's them, the director of football. Are they doing the job? Do they need to pull their finger out? I'm not sure. And at the same time, I get that we don't want to be mugged off by teams. I get that. But at the same time, if we're playing a waiting game and saying... We're not going to pay this much. Like, Ravel Morrison, for instance. I know free... Like, you said 3K is the max. And I know he's probably playing the game. But while he's doing this, we're losing points. We're dropping points. I'm not saying it's Harry's fault. But it's got... I don't think it's just a case of bad luck or whatever. That we're not getting the numbers in at the minute. I don't know. I'm gonna be try. I'm gonna try and be optimistic anyway. I think we've got Reading as our next game. We've got Bournemouth in the cup, obviously. That'll be a very tough game. But uh, yeah, we need new signings before we play Reading because they have got a good team and they will punish us. We have got no threat and I don't know how long Chad Adams is out for, but I don't care. Just start Isaac Vassell. I don't know what else to say and I'm rambling. But yeah, uh, guys, I didn't get a lot of match interviews today. So um, I'll put Davo's link in the description because he gets a lot of interviews with fans. But yeah, if you want to see more uh, fan interviews, check out Davo's content. It's in the description below. Um, he's been vlogging the Blues matches for nine years, uh, capturing the fans' uh, reactions and stuff. One more thing. I just listened to Harry Redknapp's uh, BBC WM interview, and that just shows. You know what I love about him? His honesty. He's brutally honest. He tells it how it is. 
And he's saying five of them players disappeared in the second half. He said they, they couldn't be bothered to run another ten yards, so they'd go into ground, they'd foul them. They're, I mean, I, I'm like, who do you think the five players are that he's going on about that just don't have it in them, that can't be bothered? And he's going in, he's saying that last season wasn't Zola's fault, really. He's saying it's the team. He's saying they've ruined it. He, he said something like, I'm paraphrasing, but he said something like, they ruined Zola. Like, and to be fair, they do have to take responsibility. And I'm, I think I'm being guilty of pinning all of the blame on Zola. Now, he was a bad manager, but the the players just crumbled. And today was another another example of them being under pressure and crumbling and not being asked. They're not being bothered. They don't care. Like a lot of them. And and it's like the England squad. If you maintain this core of players that are that react this way to a game, then when a new player comes in, they're gonna pick that up. They're gonna start acting the same. Now we need to get rid of them players. We need to change the philosophy of Birmingham City. And I think we can do that, but we just got to have faith. We've got to hold on a little bit. We've got to wait till the end of the transfer window. And we've got to keep right on, because that's what, that's what we're about. That's what Blues are about. And we've been in much worse situations than this. And we're only three, four games in. And we've got to look forward to the signings that Harry's going to bring in. And know and trust that the players that he will bring in are going to be players of his type. And what I love about Harry is he's saying this is his last managerial stint yeah and he's saying he's going to leave our team uh, he's going to leave our fans with a good team with a team that wants to play that gives a hundred percent and that's all you can ask for and that is why i love harry redknapp keep right on guys keep right on but if this isn't a wake-up call i don't know what is that's it from me I hope you enjoyed the vlog anyway. It was a disappointing game. I'll be back for the Bournemouth Cup game. I'll be doing a vlog of it. Now, I'm not sure if it'll come out straight away because I'm on training all week. I've got to drive two hours to come back to the game and then there's no way I can edit the video. So, it might be it might not be out till Friday. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, please like if you enjoyed the video. Um, let us know what you thought as well. Who do you think we need to sign? Do we need seven or eight players? Do we need... I don't know. How many do you think we're going to sign as well? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.